Hey guys, it's Marianne, and this is a video that I have been super excited to make for you guys. I wanted to record it and put it up yesterday, but I had a lot going on, and I wanted to give it my full attention. Um, so this is why I'm doing it today instead of yesterday. Um, if you looked at my recent shout-out videos, one of the girls that I told you to subscribe to or recommended you guys subscribe to, her username is Makeup by Erica Renee, and I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right. Um, she just started her own uh, makeup line or makeup company, and it's called Paisley Cosmetics. And she was nice enough to send me some stuff to try out and to use and to review and show you guys. And I am so excited to show you guys because I am in love with this stuff. Um, I'm going to put a link in the sidebar to her YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to her, definitely subscribe. She's super talented. One of the reasons why I love her is that she is not afraid to use bright colors. She's not afraid to use color at all. Um, a lot of times you see a lot of gurus doing like neutral looks and after a while it all looks the same. Um, and you know obviously if you look at some of my tutorials, you know some of them are neutral but I like to do looks with color and looks with you know depth and all of that. So that's one of the reasons why I really really love her tutorials. She is the sweetest person ever. Um, I've gotten to know her really well and I so wish we lived in the same state because she is just the sweetest girl. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. Um, I did swatches and everything on my hands already, so I'm going to show you the colors first, and then I'll show you the swatches. Um, so the first products that I'm going to show you are five different high-definition eyeshadows. I believe is what they're called. If I'm wrong, I will put an annotation somewhere um, telling you the exact name. Um, the first color, that snoring was Princess. She's sleeping under my chair, if you guys heard that. Um, the first color is in Pigtails. And you guys know that this is my favorite color. This is the most gorgeous hot pink I have ever seen in an eyeshadow. Um, and it's, it has um, some silver shimmer to it. Just really, really pretty. The next one is called Voluptuous. And it is a really pretty orange color. And again, it has some um, silver shimmer to it. The next color is Tail Feather, which is a bright, fun neon yellow. I don't have any yellow in my makeup collection, and I absolutely love this color. I mean, if you're looking for, like, a true yellow, this is it. The next color is in Gator Bait, and it is a really pretty dark forest green super pretty. Sorry about my phone, guys. And then the last one is in Midnight Mojo, which is a gorgeous black color with um, gold shimmer to it. So that is that. Um, also, just so you guys know, um, this is the packaging that she's using for, like, you know, sending to people for, you know, samples and reviewing purposes and things like that. She just started her makeup line, so she's still working, you know, on the packaging, the logo, all that. So she just did it really simple for me. She put Paisley Cosmetics on the front and then just the name on the back. But, um, you know, this isn't, like, the official packaging or anything. Not that it matters because I think it's cute either way. But, um, so, yeah. So those are the five eyeshadows she sent me. And I'm going to show you the swatches. Here is Pigtails, the hot pink. Then there is, on top of that, Voluptuous, which is the really pretty orange color. On top of that is Tail Feather, which is the bright neon yellow, which I hope the camera is picking up on. On top of that is the green and Gator Bait. And then here on the side, because I didn't really have much room to put it, is the Midnight Mojo, the black. So those are all the swatches. They are super pigmented. Um, the one thing I would recommend doing with these eyeshadows, and this doesn't go for just these particular eyeshadows, these go for any highly pigmented eyeshadows that are, you know, bright and, you know, just come off super, super pigmented. When you put on a base, something like your MAC Painterly Paint Pot, you're going to want to put a little bit more. You want to put a thicker base because sometimes highly pigmented eyeshadows tend to stain the eye area just because it's a little bit more sensitive than the rest of your skin. Um... But, like I said, that's, I do that if I use Makeup Forever, um, Ben Nye, Conad, I, I think Conad, I might have to be saying that wrong. Um, 
any of them like that, um, I definitely use like a thicker base because any highly pigmented shadows you're going to get, um, you know, a little bit of staining if you don't use that extra little bit of base. Um, you know, you all know that I love MAC and I think that they're great and they're highly pigmented, but these eyeshadows go above and beyond MAC as far as pigmentation goes. I mean, it is ridiculous. What you see in the pan is what you're going to get when you put it on, which is what I love. Um, the next product I'm going to show you is a paint, and it is in the color Yellow Jacket. And again, it is a really pretty um, neon yellow, and this looks gorgeous underneath the Tail Feather um, eyeshadow. Um, this says that it's not, whoops, it says that, sorry about that, it says that it's not recommended for use on the eye area. Um, it's not for any, like, horrible reason. Um, I will put an annotation somewhere because Erica did talk about it in one of her videos, but she's used it on her eye area, hasn't had a problem. Same with me, I've used it on my eye area, haven't had a problem. Um, I think it has to do a lot, again, with you know, it could, it could possibly stain, things like that. So again, with something like this, you want to use a pretty thick base. Um, the next product is her gel eyeliner, and it is in brimstone. And it is just a black eyeliner. And I know you guys are thinking, well, okay, what's so special about that? It's a black gel eyeliner. Well, that's it right there. This eyeliner is my favorite. Um, I love gel eyeliners, but I always have a problem with smudging. Um, you know, if I use it on my waterline, which I know sometimes people say not to use gel eyeliner on your waterline, I do. Um, you know, it comes off during the day. This goes on really nicely. It dries pretty quickly, so it stays on, and you don't have to worry about it um, smudging or anything like that. Um, so, I mean, I love this eyeliner. I mean, it is amazing if you ask me. Um, and then the last two products are two lipsticks. The first one is, I believe, in Fire Engine. I don't know what happened, but the label came off. But it is a pretty um, kind of reddish-orange color. And then the other one is in Birthday Suit, which is a nude color, but it has like a pinky kind of coral undertone. So if you're like me and afraid of, you know, nude lipsticks, um, this would be perfect for you to start out with because it has, you know, a little bit of color still to it. So there is the fire engine and there is birthday suit. So that is all the products. I absolutely love them. I've used everything except the fire engine, whoops, the fire engine um, lipstick just because I'm not too comfortable wearing red lipsticks yet, um, but I will find some reason to wear this because it's a gorgeous color. Um, the eyeshadows are amazing. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial of some sort with them. Um, I just want to think up something really fun because these are just such pretty eyeshadows. They're so bright and pigmented and they are so much fun to use. Um, they're very easily blendable. Um, you know, they go on really nicely, they last all day, they don't crease. Um, the biggest thing for me is the pigmentation. It is amazing to me. I mean, just seriously look at that. And, you know, I use the brush. Just This is just like an old brush. It's like a studio tools brush. And that's why, you know, I use it for just swatch, swatch purposes. This is like, you know, two times just like that of swatching. So... I'm going to put a link in the sidebar to Erica's YouTube channel and to Paisley Cosmetics' website um, where you can purchase, you know, any of these items and there's obviously more stuff there. She has brushes and things like that. Um, so definitely check her out. Check her website out. Um, if you guys order anything, let me know. Let me know what you think. Obviously, let her know what you think. Um, I highly recommend these, especially the eyeshadows. Um, even if you want to just try one color at first and just for the pigmentation just to see how highly pigmented these eyeshadows really are. So thank you Erica for sending me these products. I am in love with them and I cannot wait to order from you and try more from you. Um, they're absolutely amazing. So yeah, that is it for this review and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and pug hugs. Bye-bye.